Farm Bureau. Scott, appreciate as always your time. We've, we've been doing these interviews for uh, for several years now on uh, on Mondays, and there haven't been many where it was uh, a weekend like this that you were coming off of. A two and five week last week, two really good wins on Tuesday and Wednesday in the midweek, and then you go on the road to face a uh, a good Dallas Baptist team and uh, and get swept this weekend. Let's just kind of go big picture thoughts, and and then we'll drill down a little bit, but kind of. Kind of your reaction to the weekend, you guys lose a couple of close ones and, and then get popped a little bit yesterday. Yeah, you know, uh, Dallas Baptist, I feel like as, as far as our weekend series have gone this so far this year, the four, they're certainly the best that we've faced. Uh, you know, I thought that their team was really, really uh, balanced between pitching and, and defense and offense. I mean, I thought they did a lot of things well. They were hard to pitch to. You know, they uh, they had some really good at-bats. And, and their guys, their starters, threw really well for us or for them uh, outside of yesterday. And, you know, yesterday we were able to put a two-spot on, two spot on them there in the top of the first, but they answered with three in the bottom half. And, you know, they really just punched us in the face yesterday, and then we just we just couldn't recover from it. I know it's sometimes hard to uh, rewind to a a Tuesday and Wednesday after a weekend like that, but it was a really good midweek for your ball club starting on Tuesday night. Kind of got the monkey off your back with South Alabama with that 7-5 win, played well there, and then played really well on Wednesday night with that 7-2 win over Tulane, who was red hot coming into your place. You know, it really was. And South Alabama, like you alluded to, uh, you know, had – had us the last six times they'd beaten us. And we'd talked about it prior to playing them last week, how it was just a pitch here or there, a play here or there, or hit yeah. that separated a lot of those games that they were able to come out of, of the winter. But on, on Tuesday, we were able to do that. It wasn't a pretty game, Richard, at all. I mean, honestly, it was ugly on both sides. But, you know, as we say, we'll take an ugly win over a pretty loss any day. And felt like it really gave us some momentum into to Wednesday against Tulane, who had been playing really well, and I think we put kind of put them in a funk because they got swept over the weekend. So, yeah. uh, but you know, we had some momentum going into Dallas, but it felt really good. You know, we talked about the 13 game uh, streak that we that we were going to be running on, and you know, at that point going to Dallas Baptist, we were five and one in those first six games. So, but we got to Dallas Baptist, and you know, they had a they had a different ending for us in, in each one of those games. And just the, the, the two out hit, the, the big hit eluded us. Uh, you know, like I said yesterday, we just didn't do anything well enough to, to win that baseball game in a 10-4 to four defeat. But certainly had opportunities to, to do it on Saturday. And, and what we had to play is a doubleheader on Saturday. So uh, nobody to blame but ourselves. And, you know, we have to recover now and, and move forward with it and try to learn from it. Kind of feels like when you look all over the South this weekend, you had a bunch of places where doubleheaders were played or a game was postponed or canceled or whatever. It was just frigid on Friday. Uh, you told us last week what the forecast was going to be going into there. So you don't play on Friday. You mentioned two games on uh, on, on Saturday. So in game one, just, just not a lot offensively. Only five hits in the game. You're only able to scratch for the one run in the in the top of the ninth inning. Was this a case of, of Dallas Baptist just being that good on the mound? Was it something about the approach at the plate that you saw with your guys, or maybe a combination? Well, you know, I think a little bit of everything. Honestly, we in that game, that first game, we hit into three double plays, uh, which mm-hmm. certainly uh, just killed us in those opportunity times to, to get some momentum. But, you know, I felt like the fifth, sixth, and seventh inning, we had runners at first and second with uh, one out and weren't able to get a hit to get them in. And and that was the difference. Those guys pitched out of those situations and minimized any type of threat that we uh, proposed to them. And, you know, they scored, they hit us for a three spot in the second inning, and, and that's all the damage they did. But it was it was enough to, to win that baseball game with us not doing enough to try to try to win it. And then in game two, uh, a two nothing loss. And and again, yeah. I mean, you, you hold a team to two runs, you you still kind of expect to win. Well, you do, and that's the first time we've been shut out this year. And uh, you know, both of those runs scored. They scored in the fifth inning, the eighth inning, and it, it was a one enough ball game going into the eighth. And uh, they were able to get another two out hit. Both of those runs were scored on two out hits, and uh, that was that was enough to to hold us off. 
And, and then you get to yesterday, and, and you mentioned it was one of those days where it just seems like nothing uh, nothing goes wrong. So in terms of turning the page, it doesn't get any easier. We're still in that 13-game stretch we were talking about with Alabama coming up, and uh, then you roll into uh, into conference. Hey, what's the message to your team when you get your guys back out on the field and, and get ready to roll? Well, we're actually out there right now, and I think it's just you know moving forward, learning from the things that we weren't able to, uh, to do at in Dallas Baptist and you know that uh, certainly that we got to have have better uh, competitive at bats at the plate I think that's the biggest thing you know I, if you look at the numbers obviously off uh, offensively we've lacked in in scoring runs we played 16 games and we've only scored double digit runs one time so everything is sing, single digit uh, runs for us uh, not a lot of extra base hits, but our pitching has been, you know, outstanding, and it's, and yeah. it's enabled us to stay in games and give us an opportunity to win. You know, of the uh, of the six losses that we have, I can recall two of those that we should have won. I mean, we we had the opportunities. Our pitching held us there to give us opportunities. Once again, the the big hit, the, the one that decided hit, eluded us, and and we weren't, you know, able to to pull those out. So. Moving forward, we just got to continue to uh, build offensively, have more competitive at bats, and give ourselves a better chance to win. Scott, I, I know you like your guys, and, and I know you got veteran guys that have, have been around and have had big hits for you and have, have swung the bat well. What, what do you do when, when you're kind of struggling swinging the bats to try and give your guys some confidence and get them moving in the right direction? Well, I pulled a bunch of men in individually today and just talked to them about giving them confidence. And, you know, you have a history of – of being a good hitter, there's no reason why you still aren't a good hitter. You know, I think, you know, baseball gets to be such a mental thing and it kind of locks you down mentally. And, you know, you have to be able to unlock it and you know, release that mechanism that just frees you up. And, you know, hopefully with, with that, and, you know, a lot of times, uh, you know, our jobs are being psychologists too, just trying to get through to them and, and make them feel, you know, uh, comfortable and, and, you know, giving them hope, I think, more than anything. And I think that's that's what a coach could do. There's, you know, you don't try to beat them down. I mean, they're already beat down. They they they, they compete at a high level, and that's why they're here. So, uh, you know, hopefully yeah. just the encouraging words of, you know, hey, we believe in you. Go out there and have fun and let it happen. We'll see what happens with it. You, you didn't have to roll Yogi Berra out there and tell him that 90% of the game is half mental, did you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't use that one. <laughs> you, you might have had some guys scratching their heads uh, a little bit. Hey, hey, yeah, final... none of them know who Yogi Bear is, by the way. So, yeah, you, you start digging through the history of baseball. What he was able to accomplish is one of the most remarkable things that that has ever uh, been accomplished in terms of the uh, the number of wins. Um, last thing for you, yeah, give me just a, a little bit of a scouting report on uh, on Alabama, who you've got rolling in. You know, I don't know who they're throwing yet. They haven't named it. By the way, we have moved that game from tomorrow night to Wednesday night. So any of the oh, okay. listeners that were yeah, thank looking you. to, uh, yeah, th- th- just the forecast doesn't look good here tomorrow. And both of us are on spring break. Both of us open up conference at home on the weekend. So it was the uh, it was the move to guarantee us, us to get it in. So we're going to play that on Wednesday. But, you know, Alabama, good record, 12-5. and five. You know, they were swept one weekend by, by Texas, who was the number one team at that time at, at Austin. So, um, but, you know, they look offensive. Their numbers, they're hitting over 300. Looks like they're hitting 308. Uh, they have some extra base hits there, and, and they look like they pitch pretty well as, as well. So, you know, they're, they're a team that's going to be well coached. Uh, Bohannon does a great job with them and his staff, Jason Jackson. So, you know, just, just going to have to play good baseball and, going to have to compete, Richard. I mean, at, at the end of the day, we're just going to have to, you know, take care of the baseball and not hurt ourselves there, and and then step up in those moments offensively, like that's kind of eluded us here of late. Start of a four-game homestand Wednesday night, six o'clock first pitch, Alabama Southern Miss, then it's three games with FAU to begin conference play.